Finally, tradition number 12. Anonymity is the spiritual foundation of all our traditions, ever reminding us to place principles before, before personalities. I, I, I'm, I'm embarrassed to tell you, I, I'm a knucklehead sometimes. I just, I was sober somewhere between 15 and 20 years sober before I realized what that meant. Here's what I thought it meant. I thought it meant that I was supposed to put the principles of Alcoholics Anonymous ahead of your before you're obviously screwed up personalities. And it doesn't mean that at all. It, there's only one personality in this room that's the source of my separation and conflict. There's only one personality I have to work these principles and put them before. I must subjugate myself and push myself into the back seat and put these things foremost in my life. And it's I am the source of my conflict. If I ever, li- I almost died of alcoholism because I couldn't get in here because I couldn't stop judging you. I couldn't hear you because I kept picking you apart. And if I ever leave Alcoholics Anonymous, I think it will be the same mechanism. I, I think that I will judge myself out of AA one judgment at a time. Or my ego will rise up and I will compromise my actions as if I don't need to do that stuff the little people do anymore. Right? And I will incrementally leave AA because I will have put my personality ahead of the principles. It is the principles that save Bob from Bob. And it is the principles of Alcoholics Anonymous that where our redemption comes from. And the problem is alcoholism is cunning, baffling, powerful, and patient. And it doesn't matter if I'm sober over 30 years, over 50 years. Alcoholism waits for guys like me. It's a predator. It circles the herd. It's circling this room today. And it just waits. And it waits to get a foot in the hood. And it clamors. And it says things to us continually if you ever saw the meet the, the movie the second movie in the lord of the rings two towers there was a scene in there where this king theoden sitting on the throne and he's in the spell of an evil force and it the the, the minion of the force is sitting next to him it's a, it's a guy called worm tongue and he's clamoring in the king's in his king's king's ear that guy doesn't know what he's talking about you know, well, you don't have to listen. You know, he cheated on his wife. You can discount everything he says. You know, what's he, he's so full of himself. Look at the way he talks in meetings. And gradually, incrementally, I will, I will leave AA one person at a time. And I want to close by reading the long form of the 12th tradition, which I, I think is one of the most beautiful things Bill has ever written. It's 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 unbelievable. The first my in my home group, my old home group, and my and my new home group, we read the um, the long form of the traditions, uh, not every week, but like once a month. And when if you've ever watched, I love to watch the new people as they read them. They just sit there, roll their eyes. Oh, oh. oh. And then the, the reader gets to the, and, and most of them think the first two words of the 12th tradition, they think that the readers injected them into there, that they, they, because it says, and finally. <laughs> and finally, we have Alcoholics Anonymous believe that the principle of anonymity has an immense spiritual significance that reminds us that we are to place principles before personalities, that we are actually to practice a genuine humility, this to the end, that our great blessings may never spoil us, that we shall forever live in thankful contemplation of him who presides over us all. Thank you for listening.